Only on News 5, it is another edition of Adventures with Alan. Yeah, very timely this time. Alan got in his fall spirit, checking out the pumpkin patch and petting zoo at Wishing Star Farm. Check it out. About 40 minutes east of Colorado Springs in Ellicott is Wishing Star Farm. With the farm's Fall Fest celebration now underway, we meet up with owner Jason Wood to see what they have to offer. We have our annual pumpkin patch. We have a lot of activities for the kids, everything from the uh, pallet maze, a hay pyramid, hay slide, a petting zoo with the animals. And that's just scratching the surface, really. Take a ride on the barrel car. What of so many fun activities to do with the car. The 35-acre farm is decked out from top to bottom with Halloween decorations and plenty of cool things to see and do. On the day of our visit, Wood is busy entertaining local students. The farm is a hit with the preschoolers from Hope Montessori. I joined them for a ride down the slide. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Up next, the jumping pillow and the pallet maze. Woohoo! I made it! There's also horseshoes. But it's my cornhole game that needs some work. Oh! After playing around for a bit, it's time to check out the jack-o'-lanterns. A big highlight of our visit to Wishing Star Farm is to find the perfect pumpkin in their pumpkin patch. They're all $5 from this little guy here to this carvable pumpkin right here. For visiting schools, Wood tells me that each student gets to pick out their favorite pumpkin to bring home. Although he doesn't grow them here, they come locally from farms in neighboring Fremont and Pueblo counties. But what the farm lacks in fresh produce, they make up for in fun. Nothing says pumpkin patch more than a good old-fashioned hayride. There's also the petting zoo that features some of the farm's 65 animals. I make friends with the mini ponies, Matilda and Molly. But Boo the Camel is the real star around here. Pony rides are also offered Friday to Sunday. Girl fun, pony? Okay. Wood tells me that he and his family took over the farm from the previous owners last year. Well, we love to have people come out, take some photos, and uh, just enjoy having the kids run around the pumpkin patch and get everything from the, from the small pumpkin that they can take home with them to the larger pumpkins they can carve or set on the doorstep. Ah, oh, that looks like fun. Uh, you know, we need one of those jumping pillows in the newsroom, so I want to have a tantrum. I have something soft to land on. By the way, if you want to head out to a pumpkin patch this fall, we got your weekend plans covered. Meteorologist Sam Schreier shares a list of the most popular pumpkin patches across the area. Check it out. Scan that QR code right there on your screen or just go to our website, koa.com.